Hello again, your friendly neighborhood logo maker here, Eric. And we're gonna do the Norseman. Uh, I liked this one. This is one of my personal favorites of the, let's see, I made this in early March, late February, I think. And um, just like the way it looked, it come, it, it, to me it looks like a sports logo should look. It looks angry, it looks mean. Um, you know, and, it, and it's pretty nice. I tried to make it, it's, it is somewhat symmetrical, but there is a couple, there's a spot or two where it's not symmetrical done on purpose, just to kind of make it look a little, um, I don't know. So like I said, I like, to, I like to use the word stylized. So let's get into it. Colors. All right, hold on, let me get to my handy dandy spreadsheet. Okay, we do four colors on this one. Do a dark blue, do a lighter blue, black, white, I'm sorry, five colors. And then six, the flesh colored, I'll call it the, call it peach, if you will. It's in the upper left corner area where you can make this sort of flesh color. Um, well, we've talked about this one before. All right, so let's get into it. I will also show you really quick how to do the hammer. Hammer's really easy though. All right, so we're making the logo that I put on the home jersey. So first thing we're gonna do is outline, and then we're gonna do outline again. And then we're going to flame, which is on the second page here. Now we're gonna make that light blue. I'm uh, really liking this one for beards. Really, it's, you're, you're kind of cheesing the system a little bit here because you, as you can see, you get one, two, three, four different colors here. Uh, you get three shades of whatever color you choose, plus you get white. I usually cover up the white, but like I said, you, you can, it's really good for cheesing the system here. That's what I like to call it. All right, scale it down to 74 and rotate 183 and it's gonna go at zero, negative 45. The reason why it's so big is I, I want the beard at the, the bottom to really show up. We're gonna actually cover up a big chunk of this one. And then we're gonna to go to rectangle one. And this one's gonna be in the flesh peach color. And you're going to scale it down to 42. It's gonna go at three, positive 51. Okay, and then we're gonna do triangle one in the dark blue. And you're gonna scale this one down to 32. And this one's gonna go at three, Eleven. All right. All right. Now we're gonna hit half circle a whole bunch of times. Okay. So the first time we're gonna do it in black. Rotate two eighteen. Scale it down to twenty one. And this first one's gonna go at negative 43. And then positive 57. Okay. Then you're gonna copy, flip. This one's gonna go at 58, 57. And the reason why they're not gonna be symmetrical is because of the way the beard is and the way I was trying to center it as best I could. Um, so you won't have a completely symmetrical left side and right side as far as how the numbers will match up if you're recording these at home to try to copy this. All right, copy it again, white, flip it, scale down to seven. This one's gonna go at you know, 43, copy, flip, this one's gonna go at 
53, 57. Okay. Then we're going to copy one more time and do a light blue. I'm going to take this back to zero rotation. You can't see yet because it's kind of small. Then we're going to blow it up to 50. And this one's going to go at three. 152. And that's his helmet. So what I was trying to do, I was trying to do a Viking, but if you know your Viking history, they really don't have horns on their helmets. That's that's a myth. So what I was decided is like, you know, let me do I got it first I had the idea of doing the hammer, and I'm like, the hammer's kinda easy. And I don't like doing easy. So I decided, you know what, I'll make I'll make a Norseman and then I'll do a hammer like the alternate logo or the the one of the jersey logos. That's kind of how this one came about. All right, so after that last half circle, we're gonna go to rectangle three. Which is always in the weird spot. And rectangle three is going to be black. And it's gonna get scaled down to 42. It's going to go at three, positive, 119. I really like this shape. Um, I find it it's very versatile, surprisingly. Didn't think I would like it. And then I just started using it a lot more and finding it really fits a lot of nice purposes. All right, rectangle two. This one's going to go in the light blue. You're going to rotate, I'm sorry, this one's going to stay rotated zero. It's going to go to 52. And it's going to go at 3, 94. Okay. All right, trapezoid 1. I'm going to do this in that flesh color. I'm going to rotate a 180. I'm going to take it down to 15. And this one's going to go at 3, positive 40. That's your nose. Okay. And we're going to go to rectangle 2. And rectangle 2 is going to go in the light blue. You're going to rotate this one 90 degrees. Take it down to 40. And then you're going to put it at 3, 130. Now you see how that makes a really cool kind of shape in the top of the helmet, but also gives that the, um, bridge of the nose guard that you see on helmets. All right, and you know what's coming next. Do I even have to say it? Swish 10. Light blue, flip it though. Rotate 294. And then you're gonna take this down to 45. 37, negative. Negative 96. Okay, and then you're going to copy, flip, 41, and there's the stash, but we need to make that stash look a little bit better. So we're going to go to text, X five times, capitalize it. We're going to use font seven on this one. So this is what I use for um, stylizing the mustache, but this is also what I use on sword handles because it kind of gives that a um, sort of look of crisscrossing tape or wrap. So I highly recommend this one. Um, also too, sorry, bend 
4. Okay? So we're going to take this one, rotate 293, scale it down to 6. Okay? And negative 63. Scale to six, uh, negative sixty-three, and then negative one thirteen. Okay. Copy, flip. This one goes at sixty-eight. Okay. And you're like Eric. Why is it down so low? Well, we need to make a little bit of a mouth here. So let's do bend one. 45. Okay. Take it down to 16. And this is going to go at 2. Negative 54. Copy. Make it white. Scale this one down to 11. Same exact spot. Then we're going to do arc. Rotate this 180. Take it down to 19. And this one goes to Sorry, scale 16. 2, negative 64. Okay. And let's get into another switch 10. Make it dark blue. Flip it. Sorry, don't flip it. Rotate 63, scale down to 19. And this one's going to go at negative 78. Negative 31. Then you're going to copy, flip. Almost done, boys and girls. Triangle three. Whoops. Nope. Let's try triangle three. It's that peachy flesh colored. Take it down to 13. And then you're going to rotate 322. Sorry. 38 on this one. Sorry. This one's going to go at negative 48. Positive 4. Then you're going to copy, flip. Okay. And at 53. Kind of balance it out. All right, shield six. Take that down to 13. And you're gonna go at zero, negative 106. Arc, take it down to 14. T52, and then you're going to go at negative 74, 
These two, you can actually put whatever you want. I just did it this way. Gotta give them a little battle damage. Copy. Scale up one, flip it. Rotate it to 315. And this one I put at 55. Twenty-two. All right. Last but not least, thin box. Take that one down to fifty-three. Now it's going to go at two. Ninety-three. There you go. Looks very cool. Looks very complicated. It's not. Um, don't be put off by something like this it it's all about just how you do the layers it's about how you plan this out and and what you're trying to make like I said logos should look angry sports is a metaphor for war I do have a couple fluffy cuddly logos I admit that I do because I also have a 10 year old daughter who she likes stuff for her team so I make her nice little fluffy ones but in reality, come on, guys, make it mean, make it ugly, you know, make it look like an SOB wants to sit there and bash your head in. And that's the, what this one is. All right, so real quick, I'm going to take you through. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to take you through the layers on this one for the hammer if you're interested. So first things first is you do um, underscore, okay? Negative 10, negative 50, 91 rotation, 15 scale. Square 2, negative 36, 90, 27 scale. Copy it and move it over to 29. Then I do an underscore, dark blue, negative 85, 86, 271, 6. Copy it, move it up a little higher, negative 85, 94. Everything else the same just to compare complete all the way across. Then you do the same thing on the other side, 75, 95, 271, and 6 on underscore, and then 75, 92, 271, and 6 for the other one. Trapezoid 1 to get the flare the handle out a little bit. Uh, in white, negative 14, negative 155, 181, and 18. And then just to kind of make it look like it's wrapped, uh, I just did this one where I just did... Um, Your slant font one spacing 16 and just make what one two three four five six eight of those okay negative 12 negative, negative 67 91 rotation and eight on the scale then I do on the bottom of the handle an underscore negative 19 negative 162 rotation one scale one do another one Negative 12, 161, rotation 1, scale 2. And I just put the lightning bolt, lightning 2, negative 187, 1, and 27. An arc, I did it in gray just to incorporate that as part of one of the colors. Negative 8, 120, rotation 182, scale 27. Then just do outline because then I also I put the end. And if you're interested, I used font 19 for that one. All right, so if you look at that jersey, I think it looks really sharp on that jersey. And then that's the what I did on the home jersey. I think it looks pretty nice there too. So there you go. There's Norseman in 19 minutes. Did multiple logos for it. Um, I also did that one for the hat. You know, this one would look in the, you could do a lot of different colors with this one. Um, red would look good. You could do huh. different shades of red. Huh. Uh, green, even yellow would look good on this one too. Uh, be something different. So, hope you love it and, and enjoyed it. I loved making it for you guys. It was great. Um, so, let me show you the next. Next up is going to be a geometric. If it comes. And there you go. So, next up would be the papillons for you French people. And so, this is. And. This will be the one I'll probably do it, let's see, today is Sunday. I'll probably do this on Monday. 
night. Uh, and also be doing the Gunslingers too, another, um, this one's a, more of a background one that you guys really seem to like too. So, all right, thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe and appreciate your support.